Hello guys, welcome to my channel TechInBase. My name is Leandro and today I want to show you um, how you can install the, the Skype for Business 2015, okay? Um, I will speak slow because I am learning English, okay? So don't worry, we can do it together, okay? Uh, first, we have TechNet. Uh, library and these steps for the installation server okay um, install prerequisites is basically um, we have the features and Windows updates okay let's start oh, let's start it okay so open um, PowerShell on Windows Server 2012 or 2 uh, we have the features I needed it I need it okay and we need download this KB okay KB 2982006 okay don't forget it you will need it um, copy and copy paste okay so um, source let me get it here and xxs copy and paste okay and Enter. So I will stop the video. I come back uh, when it finished. Okay. Hello guys. I came back. Okay. It it is finished. Okay. So and um, you need to restart the server to finish the installation process. Okay. So let's do it. Okay, I will come back soon. I come back, guys. And after the reboot server, what do you need to do? Okay, you need run check for updates, Windows update. Okay, don't forget this is really really important okay uh, we need to get the updates for the new features okay uh, and we need to do one thing run server manager add rules and features okay next 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 again okay next here we have one feature uh, okay so desktop experience okay we have more one lose identity we need to find the windows identity server okay it's done it is done okay 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 next okay Windows Identity Foundation installed okay desktop experience check to next install okay you can see here we have two 
updates, okay? Security updates for .NET Framework 3.5 and Windows Server 2012 or 2 update KB and 2919355, okay? It's very large, okay? Oh, very large. Let me check it, okay? Install. Here we have the steps, okay? Install prerequisites, create a file share, install administrative tools, prepare Active Directory, create DNS records, okay? Here we have create and publish a new topology, install system components on each server, verify the topology, okay? It's basically it. So, here the Microsoft show for us check for Windows update install the features okay here we have when the dialog box indicates that the installation has complete will you will need to reboot the server to complete the process run Windows update again to check if it there are any updates to the rules and servers that were installed, okay? Don't forget it again. Okay, it's running. Um, let's, let's create the file share, okay? So, Create file share here. Okay, uh, let's do it. I will use the front end server to do it. Okay, new folder. Skype for business, okay. Properties, sharing, share. Oh no, sorry. Advanced sharing. Okay, permission and location. Local server. Oh sorry. And administrators. Administrators, the group, okay, not user. Full control, apply, okay, apply, okay, security, administrators, full control, okay, in security, close, that's it. Um, future installations, okay, restart is pinning, uh, okay. We need to restart the server, okay? Let's do it again. Restart, okay. I come back, okay? I will pause, pause the video. Okay, guys, I came back. Uh, after the reboot, we need to do two steps, okay? Install. This key B, okay, and run Windows Update to install this key B, okay. Um, for this, we need the install run prompt command cmd cd desktop cd kb okay dear windows 
298.1 KB 298.2006 OK Enter Search for updates on this computer Okay. I come back after this installation, okay? I will pause the video. Okay, guys, I made a mistake here, okay? You need to run first this KB, okay? Install. Uh, the server will download. So you need waiting finish it okay so i come back when the installation is finished okay hi guys i came back i find uh, a different uh, features in the same page okay uh, here we have plan for skype for business server okay here we have deploy Skype for Business Server, install. Okay, install prerequisites. We have these options. So, it's different. You can, do you see? We have another features here, okay? So, I will run this feature too okay so let's check like indeed 10% 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, I will paste pause the video, okay? Okay, guys, I came back uh, after the Windows Update installation. We can install uh, the update KB two nine eight two zero zero six, okay? Run by CMD and click yes, okay? Install, installing, update one of one. Um, prepare the server is very boring, but uh, it's really necessary, okay? So do it. Install Brave Exit after this. Done. Okay. Create file share. Did you create the file share? If not, do it. Okay, finish. Close. Don't restart now. I will restart my server, but force. Okay, uh, it is more. It is fast. So.
okay I will pause the video and I come back after this reboot okay hi guys I came back uh, I finished and uh, in, uh, install the prerequisites so uh, our server is ready to install Skype for Business 2015 okay uh, so we need to insert DVD on server settings DVD drive browse and here DVD 5 SFB server 2015 open apply okay